I wanted people to go in and, and just experience something they wouldn't normally expect to experience as part of a flower show. I'm an artist and designer and I created the nighttime element to the garden for the RHS Titan Park Flower Show. That takes you through the journey of a moth from a chrysalis um, to when it's kind of ready to pollinate a flower. And there's loads of material in there and it kind of like forms different layers and the kaleidoscopes shimmer off it as you walk through as well. And that's um, for me like reflective of moth's wings and the different layers to moths. Moths are incredibly important, um, although they are very secretive in what they do because they do everything at night when everybody's asleep. Uh, but recent research is showing that they are super efficient uh, at pollinating. Uh, they're very quick at doing that job. And they are also very good at pollinating plants that our day shifters sometimes miss out. Because the inside of the tent experience is something so different, for the RHS I wanted people to fully immerse themselves in a moth's kind of life cycle. And then they can take Sharon's beautiful garden as an example of what actually to do and tips and tricks to actually utilise at home afterwards. So if you would like to attract some moths into your garden, um, you can plant some very um, highly scented plants at night. Uh, jasmine, uh, night scented stock, Nicotiana. Uh, they will attract, they will lure them in. Uh, then you need to provide some other nectar rich flowers. Uh, these are ideal. Uh, we have plants like uh, verbena, monada, achillea uh, and salvias. And one more last little tip is to try and embrace some of your weeds. Um, plants like willow herb and bramble are particularly good for our nighttime moths. So for me, it's just about creating memories and experiences and then people can start conversations themselves after that.